I reckon that some people don't like being called perverts and they definitely don't like being called pedophiles and they definitely don't like being called rapists and they definitely don't like uh, being insulted for taking pretty girls out to their private island showing them their underwater office that they built because let's face it uh, that's some work right there uh, when, when, I, when, when I inherit Jeffrey Epstein's properties I think to myself that man put a lot of work into building this it's like I have a lifetime built for me and so when I have an underwater office where I can see the sharks I can see all kinds of fish there's not, I'm going to build me a reef down there. And when I have that, I think, wow, that's a, that's a pretty impressive man. I, 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 if I built that, which, who has an underwater office? Well, there's an underwater hotel. That's over there in Dubai. Very expensive. Like, no one can go there. You have to be able to afford just to visit there. Like, it's, it's like so expensive to visit. So, having that as your own little private island with an underwater, all I'm saying is, you want to show someone that, but he's a trafficker. He, he's a sex trafficker. Even though, let's face it, did he know her age when he first met her? No. Did she probably tell him after the first time? Yeah. Did he know? Oh, yeah, he knew. That's kind of how it works sometimes. Uh, sometimes it's just like this mad setup. Uh, and Jeffrey Epstein probably heard my story, and I thought that this girl set me up. I, I think I've been set up more than once. And... Uh, I think that what happens is I don't do enough. They think I'm gonna do something. It's like, I'll like, I'll like nudge. And then like, it's like, no, hey, I'm gonna rub you down. Uh, no, I'm not responding. Oh, you raped me. Well, I, you no, know, actually you never said I raped you. You said I molested you. It's like, all right, well, come on. I, I don't wanna talk about that. Uh, because for us, like, even if we don't cross the real line, we feel like we did something wrong because someone set us up to be in this wrong situation while we were drunk usually. Um, or underneath, under the influence of Molly. And my understanding is what they said is oh, he used drugs with her and that's why he was raping her. It's like, oh yeah. Yeah, so uh, when I was 14 years old and I had sex and, and uh, um, I was kind of put in that situation, I don't feel like I was not an adult as like weird as it sounds. Don't give me, <coughs> uh oh, it's the COVID. No, it's not. It's the, so yeah, so <clears throat> what happened is Jeffrey Epstein died and I thought he left me his estate as a backup plan in case he was murdered or he might have even killed himself like to be like, bam. All right, so um, it's crazy because like think about if you're someone like Jeffrey Epstein with no heirs and you're listening to someone like me all the time it makes sense you would give me the money because I am like someone who would never buy the biggest house in New York City. Like, ever. I mean, and that's why when I said I, I take a house in front of New York, in front of Central Park, I have no problem having an artist commune there. Whoever whoever wants to put it on, uh, I don't know, whoever likes, likes to live with other people and teach them how to make art, I'd like to have a recording studio there. I'd like to have art communes in Santa Fe also and in Florida. Um, I don't know what other real estate he has that's real big. Uh, I feel like he's mainly like these like big ass houses. Yeah, my island. I feel like I'm gonna probably have some military people that are out there with me. Um, so it's probably gonna be more like a me and the government island. Um, but it's not the it's not really because it's the isn't that the Bahamas? Yeah, it's not the it's not the government. But um, maybe if some submarine crews want to be able to dock there. You can always come come and stay at my backup house. I was gonna be, I, there are two islands. I was gonna build a backup house for them, um, if they ever want to like not have to be out at sea all the time, or even like if they want to like alternate submarines that are out. Um, yeah. So basically, uh, it's kind of a nice little place to have a have a have a island, ain't it? Uh, I feel like I'm real blessed. Uh, I was just looking at a, at a pretty small house. <laughs> then I'm like, wait, oh yeah, I forgot I have all those 20,000 square foot houses where I don't actually want to live uh, that much. But I might want to live there if I was Hansel and I had a bunch of like artists that were there. And it was like, every time I come there, it's like, yes, I get to see these people. And then I end up liking to travel more because I, I, I get to see people when I go there. So yeah, uh, I feel like Jeffrey Epstein makes me way cooler because I have an underwater office in my own island. Like suddenly, like, I mean, I feel like I need like um, like lasers with sharks and stuff, like have like an evil lair. You know, he, he did say he was a, he was a, 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 an intelligence person. 
Uh, he, I, th I think he viewed himself like I view myself, and the government sure isn't very good to their intelligence people. Uh, that's because the government is blackmailing people to put people in positions to, to, to like control the judges like in every single situation so that you can make sure those intelligence people are not protected. And that's, that's, a, that's a real issue here is uh, the way that everyone slandered him. Like I, I, I honestly, if there's anything I, I believe is that he is not a pedophile. Like, it's 100%.